So really the first step in building a database, uh, now that we've reviewed the uh, project instructions, is creating a database. So that's the video you're currently watching. Let's go to Microsoft Access. It's going to start and load Access. We'll build a blank database uh, to begin with. Uh, the database, the file name, I'm going to go ahead and call this, uh, um, where am I at? Click into that. Let's see. Oh, okay. Um, um, small technical issue. So I want to build this blank da desktop database. I want to go ahead and name it uh, My Books. Notice the directory, the file location where this will be saved. It'll typically, by default, be saved in uh, documents. So your username, documents. Let's go ahead and create this. We want to build at least two tables. What we have are the commands at the top. We have the ribbon um, here. Here's the, the, the view tab or view button. And this switches between uh, this switches between data sheet, which looks like a spreadsheet, and design. That's where you build the database at. So by default, the first table just a blank table loads. We want to go ahead and change this to, um, and that's the data sheet view. I should probably explain that. Uh, we want to go ahead and into the design view. Now, Access asked us to save information a lot. Do that, uh, um, do that consistently and very consistently with Access. Oftentimes, when you're trying to um, open or run queries, probably run queries is the best example, that the database needs to be saved, the tables need to be saved uh, before queries will run. So make sure you do that. The first table that we're going to create, and um, it will be called books. Okay, so we'll do that. You notice how this changes the books. This is the ID of the the first field. Now, the first field of any particular table, the first uh, the first field with uh, that correlates to the records in any particular table is the primary key. Uh, it doesn't have to be, but typically by convention, the first field is the primary key. We're just going to call this book ID. And then I'm going to change that auto number as you add records will increase automatically. I want to go ahead and add this manually just for our database. So book ID, name of the book, now that's, uh, let's see, book name. A short text. Notice you have a whole variety of different kinds of um, fields that you can create, data types that you can create uh, for fields. And uh, book name, and then let's see, publication year. And that's just going to be a number. And then we have author ID. This is how we're going to relate this table to the author table. And this also needs to be a number. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and save it. Create table. Now a new table. I'm going to go and uh, save this as author. We're initially in a data sheet view. I'm going to go to the design view. So we have author ID again as the primary key. And I'm going to change this to number, the data type to number. And author name. Short text is fine. The uh, birth date. And I'm going to change this to a date and time. And that'll be good. That will be good. So what we have then, we'll go ahead and save it. Now for books, we'll go into the datasheet view. Book ID 1, book name, and, uh, and I'm a Burroughs fan. 
let me see if I can spell Burroughs publication uh, night uh, let's see the book name sorry this needs to be there we go there we go Tarzan publication was 19 15 uh, well and it probably was and I'm not sure now the author ID is going to relate to the author table we're going to call Burroughs author ID 1 you'll see that in a second the second book ID that we'll have is 2 Joan no no it's John John Carter 1912 author ID 1 okay so you see what this works like or looks like book ID 3 now this is going to be a different uh, a different book uh, a guy by the name of Cahill wrote a book about how the Irish saved uh, civilization which was an interesting read I think the publication date on that was like 1985 and the author ID will be 2. Okay, that looks good. Save. Now the author um, uh, the author table, we want to go to the data sheet view. Now author ID 1, remember, that was Burroughs. And the birth date, because it's a date field, you would ordinarily click on this and find the day. Um, that default format looks something like this. 5-1-2014. I don't recall the specific date, but I'm going to call. I'm going to say it was January 1st. Burroughs' birthday was January 1st, and it seems like it was about 1885. The second will be Cahill, and that birth date, uh, if I recall, was uh, about 19. 1950. Okay, so now I'll go ahead and save this. Oh, I'm Access will tell you if you've messed the uh, syntax up. We'll save this. So at this point in time, what we've done ha is went into Access, used the design view to create two tables, then use the datasheet view. Well, in designing two tables, we created a primary key and foreign key in one table. And then we created a um, primary key in the second table. The second table's primary key will correlate to the first table's, the books table, author ID foreign key. Primary key, foreign key. That's how these things relate. So, uh, and then we went ahead and entered our information through the datasheet view. The next uh, video will be how do we tie these two tables together.